Hello everyone. May God bless you all. May your days be very good with you. May you trust in Jesus Christ and have him guide you through everyday life. What I want to speak about I want to speak about marriage again, yes. And marriage. And <laughs> you may know this. Chances are you may not know this. Or maybe you do know this. In marriage, you have to learn to shut your mouth. And you may say, how can you say that, Kevin? I thought in marriage, you have to be heard. No matter what happens, you should express yourself. And depending on the case, but what if there is a couple When the woman speaks in a problem, the man is not willing to listen. When the man speaks, I am speaking about an argument. When the man speaks, she isn't willing to listen. So <laughs> what should you do in a case like that? Continue speaking and deepen the the bad atmosphere or make things worse like are you telling me that you should say something even though it can make things worse there is someone i know and this person i believe have shown me that if there is an issue, he is not really willing to take me seriously in so many words. So if he does something wrong to me, what is the point of me approaching that person and possibly making things worse? Yes, it may be that person's fault, but why would I jump in a situation where it can make things more bad for me if that makes any sense so in marriage you have to learn when to shut your mouth and you may not like hearing this i know you may not like hearing this because maybe you went to counseling and your counselor may have told you you know, both parties need to speak and uh, you need to tell each other how you feel or I guess depending on the situation. What that counselor, what that counselor may not be telling you that we are in a spiritual war. This is something your counselor may have not accounted for. So if we are in a spiritual war where the demonic forces are our enemy, if someone is not willing to receive your words, should you continue talking? You may say to me, Kevin, then what should I do? Pray about it. Fast. Seek God for your marriage problems. What sense is there me arguing and fighting with a person who is not willing to receive what I say? What sense is there for you 
to fuss, fight, get more angry, get more frustrated to where you may do something or say some things you know you should not. Why put yourself in a situation like that when you can close your mouth? When you can close your mouth, Kevin, it hurts to not be heard. Kevin, it hurts to be misunderstood. Okay. But what is going to hurt more? What is going to hurt more? If talking will make the situation worse, won't that hurt more? If I have to go through pain, if I have to, like have no choice in it, let me go through the least amount of pain, right? Let me not say since I am going through pain, let me go to a level 10 because I don't care. That is nonsense. That is, what is that? Like some type of pride? Since I can't have things my way, it might as well be overblown. I think that is pride. Learn to humble yourself. Be meek. Be meek. Probably in society, they may tell you being meek and humble are for suckers. Like, they may tell you being meek and humble makes you a doormat, make you a loser, makes you uh, so undesirable. <laughs> Get that stuff out of your mind. There is God's wisdom and there is the world's wisdom. I believe much of the time, the world's wisdom will get you into trouble. Adopt God's wisdom. Yes, it may not feel great to be taken advantage of. It may not feel great to be disrespected. It may not feel it may not feel great to back down, but you have to be a peacemaker. You have to be a peacemaker. We all are going to reap what we sow. What does Colossians 3 and 25 say? I don't have it on me right now. But it says something like, whoever does wrong, wrong is going to come back upon that person. So how are you losing? You may not see the wrong happening to that person. God may not give you a vision of what is happening to that person, but I believe the Bible to be true. I may not be an expert, in living for Jesus Christ, but I am striving for perfection. If a demon is influencing your spouse to treat you wrong, why treat your spouse wrong back? Who wins? Do you win? Do your spouse wins? Who wins? I believe the demons. So why fall into a trap when your spouse may have fell into it? I think you have to use discernment. I believe you have to use wisdom. Don't fall to the wayside, if I am saying that right. Don't fall to the wayside because of being provoked. I hope this makes sense. We are in a war. We are in a spiritual war. We are in a war. And demons may use people to come against you, to falsely accuse you, to uh, make your reputation less, or maybe try to dirty your image, whatever. Do what is right. Try, strive for perfection no matter what. 
because I believe our performance, listen now, listen, I believe our performance, performance on this earth is going to be judged. I believe we are in this life to be tested. So if we are in this life to be tested, if our behavior is going to be judged, shouldn't we do very well? Shouldn't we place our spiritual life first more than everything else? I think so. If everything I have in this world, if I can't take it with me, what's the point? I am not saying it is bad to want a car and some clothes and some um, gold rings and some jewelry and stuff like that. I am not saying that is wrong. Some people may say it is wrong, but I don't think it is wrong. But I believe we will be more than I believe, but we are going to be in the afterlife more than this life. We will probably be in this life for maybe 80 years, but how long are we going to be in eternity? <laughs> Forever. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So shift your focus on the word of God and doing it more than in this world. Don't be ensnared by demonic tactics. Pray for your spouse. Love your spouse as best as you can, whether it hurts or not. I mean, even if it hurts you really bad, do what you have to do. I believe there are rules that the man and woman must follow in marriage. So go by the rules that apply to you. I hope this makes sense. God bless you.